Facebook just changed the setup process for conversion campaigns. Again, they've made a couple changes to that in the past. And in this video, I wanna show you how it works. Hey, it's John here at Hyped It. And in this video, I wanna show you a change that Facebook made to the setup flow for conversion campaigns, the type of campaigns that we wanna run for our music when we try to grow on Spotify, on Apple Music, when we try to grow our pre-saves and we run engaged campaigns, all of those things. For all of this, we need conversion campaigns. And in the past, the setup flow looked something along the lines of what you see on my screen right now. You would click on create a new campaign and then you would see all of these campaign objectives that you could select from. And usually you would pick conversions because that's the type of campaign that would perform amazingly to grow your music on Spotify, on Apple Music, on any other music platform. But now with the new changes, let me show you this in a different ads manager account here. If you click on create, you see this interface here and you look at it, campaign objectives, awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, app promotion, sales, where's conversions, All right? So I think what's happening here is that Facebook's trying to align its language a little more with the typical language used in the marketing world. A conversion campaign is really more of a technical description of the type of campaign that we've been running, which is a campaign where the AI optimizes for a particular conversion event to happen. But in the general marketing world, marketers don't say, hey, I want more conversions, right? Marketers say, hey, I want more sales. I want more leads. I want more engagement. Those are more marketing industry specific terms. So I think what Facebook was doing here, it's aligning its language a little bit. But the good news is you can still run conversion campaigns. Now, when we talk about getting fans for our music, the way this would be described in most other industries is by saying, I want more leads. I wanna attract more future prospective customers and bring them into my world. And this is basically what we're doing when we're running these campaigns to grow streams, listeners, and fans on Spotify, Apple Music, or other music platforms. We wanna bring people into our world that have the highest probability of streaming our music on repeat, saving our music, buying merchandise from us, coming to our shows. It's just supporting us as music artists. So what I recommend with this new setup process is that you select leads as your campaign objective, and then you click continue. And what follows here is the very familiar interface where you set up your campaign objectives, your ad set, and your ads. And I won't go through this in detail now, but once you're at the ad set level, it still gives you the very familiar option to just pick a conversion event. So click in here, and if this was a link campaign to grow on Spotify, you just click Hyped It Smart Link Click and select that as your event. And the same would go with downloads, with pre-saves, with link gate unlocks, whatever your campaign objective, whatever the conversion event you want Facebook to optimize for, you select it here. So that's how you set up a conversion campaign with the new Facebook ad setup flow. Now, if this is a topic you want to dive a little bit deeper on, if you want to learn how to massively grow your streams, your listeners, your fans on Spotify using these types of conversion campaigns, then I invite you to check out my Spotify growth engine. It's a program where I show you how to set up an automated growth machine for your music on Spotify. I'll walk you through the whole process click by click. We're gonna talk about all the different setup steps in your campaigns so that you end up with a high performing ad which will just nonstop grow your music on Spotify. I leave a link to the Spotify growth engine below this video. If you wanna check it out, just click the link. I'll take you over to the homepage of the Spotify growth engine where you see more information about it, as well as success stories from other artists who joined and then massively grew their music. I hope to see you on the inside of the Spotify growth engine and definitely in another video as well. Cheers.